This is Chrissy Idaho Painter. In this video, I got five hacks for you with paper that's gonna make your life a lot easier painting. So, so, stay, so, so stay tuned for this video. <laughs> That'll probably work. I got another simple hack for you using nine inch paper and one inch tape and I'm going to be spraying some ceilings in here and I've got some can lights up there and we want the can lights to actually match the ceiling at the same time and we're going to be spraying those too but I don't want overspray to get inside where the light bulb is and light socket otherwise when you screw the light socket back in it's probably not going to work. So this is a very simple and easy method instead of trying to stick some tape up there and getting zappoed you know with electricity on make sure the electricity is off anyways but I just take nine inch paper I just take it and I wad it up and just a ball like this I'm going to remove the light bulb And I'm just going to stuff my paper up inside there and that's going to protect the socket outlet inside there from getting overspray on it and causing the bulb not to work. A very simple and easy hack using nine inch paper and one inch tape. Handy tip of the day, we're going to catch dust with our hand masker when we're cutting the hole in the wall. Got an imaginary hole we're going to be dealing with right here, but I'm going to show you how you can catch the dust and debris with a hand masker. So just take, put a piece of paper on the wall, take and lift it up, fold it in half. Now I'm going to take a piece of tape, I'm going to bring my paper up, put it at a slight angle, tape it. I'm going to do the same thing to the opposite side, and this is going to create a nice handy catch basin for everything that comes out of this hole when I'm cutting or sanding. Handy tip of the day. So I got another simple hack for you when it comes to using paper and I've got a handrail right here going up the stairs. We're going to be spraying some ceilings in here and I don't want any overspray to fall down on these handrails and I can just simply cover those and tack some paper over the top of it and it's fast and easy to do. I'm using a hand masker, one inch tape. If you're concerned about the tape pulling off the finish on the walls or something, you can just use green frog tape, which it will not lift off your finishes. But I'm just gonna take my hand masker and I can tack it to my handrail or the wall. I'm just gonna run it up here. just like that and that's a simple way to keep any overspray fallout dust from hitting your nice smooth handrails when you're done spraying it's simple and easy to do you just pull it right off simple paper hack with nine inch paper and one inch tape Today I got a simple hack for you and that's using a hand masker in paper instead of a dustpan. If you simply can't find your dustpan on the job site or you don't have a dustpan and you have some dirt on the floor that you swept up that you should be sweeping up and cleaning up before you leave the job site, here's a simple, fast, easy way, very effective. I've got a hand masker with some tape. All I do is I sweep everything up in a pile and then I simply make a dustpan with my paper so I can make it with two rows if I want if there's a lot of debris to pick up or I can just make it with one row then all I do is just sweep my debris onto my paper and now I'm just gonna roll it up and pick it up and it's even more effective than a dustpan because there's no lip right here to have to get the garbage on so now I'm just gonna fold it up And there goes my garbage simple hack with nine inch paper and one inch tape. Okay, got another really cool hack for you using nine inch paper and one inch tape. And we're gonna be painting some ceilings. I don't want any overspray or splatter to fall onto the top of my ceiling fan blades because you never know anytime somebody's gonna get up there and look and see the paint. So I'm gonna be masking using paper and one inch tape. I don't wanna use a production tape because if you tape on your ceiling fan blades, you could pull off the finish. So I'm gonna just use frog tape. So I'm gonna switch out my tape to frog tape. I'm going to be using this handy dandy masker right here. Now all I do is just pull enough paper that's going to cover the blade. I'm just going to set it right on the top and I'll just tack it on one of the sides 
right here, just in a couple places, just like that. I can just move the ceiling fan and do the next blade. Make sure your paper is long enough. While you're up here, you could do the customer a service and clean the fan blades because these fan blades are pretty dang dirty. But there you go, simple tip with nine inch paper, one inch tape, frog tape. There's nothing more frustrating than looking for screws that you need when you're on a job site and you can't find them. I've got a really cool hack for you and that is using a paper masker to make a container for your screws so they won't be lost and you can find them very simply and easily. I just take, rip off a piece of paper and I take and fold it over right here so the two sides of the tape that got the adhesive touch together. I'm gonna fold it over right there and then I'm gonna take the end right here where they're on tacked together. I'm gonna fold that over right there and then I'm gonna tack that down with tape and that's gonna seal these sides to the container right here and then it has a simple little opening right here now i can just drop in my screws or whatever i need to seal inside there i'm going to drop those down in there and then because it is paper it's easy to just write what's on there there's six cup hooks so I'll just write six cup hooks and i like to just write where they came from they came from the bedroom number two that way we know what's in there and how many are in there. And then I'll just take the top of the container, fold it over, and this makes a handy little container that you can store things in so they won't get lost. Now I'm just gonna talk, toss these into a five gallon bucket, and if I have several of them, I can just pull them out, it tells me exactly what's in there. Now I can just easily open it up, take out what I need. If I'm only gonna take out a certain amount, I can just tear that and then re and then fold that over and reseal that and continue using it again. Simple little hack using paper and a hand masker. So there you have it, five hacks, that's 10, but this is five, on how to make your life a lot easier using nine inch paper on the job site. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe the subscribe button is somewhere around here or it's down below subscribe to my channel it's free easy to do it doesn't cost you anything just hit it smash it punch it just don't break your video screen and then hit the little notification bell that little hourglass thing right there that is going to give you the ability to be notified every time i come out with a new video check us out on instagram and facebook we love showing all kinds of short tips and tricks for you the paint life community we'll see you on our next video ow Nice. <laughs>